So I wanted to go over a few exercises we've been working on uh, with Mr. Skipper here to make sure that he pays attention when we say his name. So what I'm going to do is um, for the first exercise, which is the easiest one, you just say his name and then drag a treat up towards your eyes to make eye contact. That's perfect. This is actually, um, sorry, you noticed that behavior there where he rolled over on the side. It's actually um, been his go-to move when we're doing our relax on a mat exercise recently. And so he's really trying to self-soothe and calm himself down. So um, he's doing that right now. We actually had a new dog arrive. So that is, is great. Definitely something to reinforce and let him know that he's doing the right thing. Perfect. Again, right there, trying to self-soothe. It was excellent. So um, back to the task at hand. We are going to drag a treat up towards our face. Skipper, as soon as he makes eye contact, he gets a click. Let him know that's the moment he's done what you're looking for. Skipper. Good. Skipper. Good. I want to drag the treats out to the side so he follows them. Make a, a little game for him to where he's going to be looking away. He's going to be excited about the treats, but he has to come back. Skipper. Good. So the moment he comes back and makes eye contact, would have liked a little bit more of a prolonged eye contact, so we'll wait a little bit more on the next one. Skipper. Skipper. So he's having a challenging day today. We actually just had a dog arrive, so I think this is just getting him a little wound up. Um, let's give him another shot. That was, that was good. I waited for a more brief eye contact as he was getting a little confused. We can also do a little intermediary exercise where I um, use my other hand, the hand that's holding the phone, to drag up towards my face if he's too excited. Skipper. Good. So we just want him to get excited, look, look away at something. So another way to do this is if he's just looking away from you, then say his name. He should be able to um, look at you regardless of whatever is interesting him. So I'll wait for him to look away from me and then say his name. Skipper. Good job, bud. Very good. Um, so both renditions are equally acceptable if you drag a treat out to the side or just wait for him to be distracted and then say his name and wait for him to come back and look at you. Skipper. Good job, bud. Oh, there you go. Got okay, another one too. Skipper. Skipper. I kind of missed that first moment. He did look at me and I was just a little late on the click. Um, so I just want to give him another shot. So uh, one thing to take note of is we do want to say his uh, any sort of command one time and then wait for him to think it through. Never want to just say something repeatedly. So lastly, what I'm going to do is take a treat, throw it on the ground, and then I need him to turn back towards me when I say his name. So he's going to go get it. Skipper. He has to get interested in me again. Skipper. So he should be able to focus um, if he's sniffing something, engaging with anything. Skipper. I want him to be able to turn back towards me and realize that this is more important. Go get it. Skipper. Good, very good, excellent. So those are our name game exercises. Good job, bud.